All right, this is another video on SPSS from your friendly neighborhood Professor Wyman. Um, this video, I'm showing you how to merge two data sets. So in this example, um, we're looking at a pre-survey and a post-survey, and we're going to merge based on um, various different variables. So um, what we're looking at here, I'm just spacing out names so that we can take a look here. Uh, we talked about this in class, I demonstrated this in class, but I wanted you to have a reference just in case. So here we have variables that are not going to change from time period to time period. Um, unique ID is something that will not change. Participants uh, who are ID one are going to be ID in our post. So we wanna make sure that we don't end up with two variables. We want to merge them um, and, and just have one variable but we're gonna merge based on this variable. We also have section number um, for the class. And so that should be the same because it's the same semester. Biological sex will be the same. Um, enrollment status will be the same. Student level, if you're a junior one semester, you're gonna stay a junior that semester, right? So what we are going to see though, is that some of these like academic plan that can change from the pre-survey to the post-survey. And that is listed here as post. So that will become a new variable. So our goal is to create a data set that includes participants who were in both the pre-survey and the post-survey, and then add our post-survey questions, our variables to our pre-survey. Uh, one note here, and this is standard for all different programs, different methods where you merge data, um, you need to have the information about the variables set to be the same. So for example, in this data set here, um, this unique ID doesn't have a uh, description. So for a description, I could just copy that over uh, and I can include it here. The label would just potentially get um, potentially not work out or get overwritten just depending on on what order um, we're merging to. So we're going to we're going to merge to this pre survey. Um, but you really want to make sure that you don't have any different type of variable. So if you had unique ID set to number here uh, and then it was set to or numeric here and then set to string here, uh, you would not merge successfully. So you want to have that be the same for any variables that you're merging on. I'm going to go to data. And I'm going to say merge files and I'm going to actually pay attention to what I'm doing and I'm going to go over here to the pre this is where I want to merge my data to so I want to start in my data set uh, that I would like to be the first variables that I see the left side of my spreadsheet um, version and I know we're not working in a spreadsheet but that that style where it's going to be on the left side right so let's go ahead and go to data and then we're gonna merge files and we're not gonna add cases. So adding cases would not add any new variables. It would just add new people, um, but we have new people and new variables. So we're gonna to go to this add variables option. And you can see here that we have an open data set because I opened it. You can also um, ex, uh, link to an external SPSS statistics file, but our data is right here. So I'm just gonna click on that. We're gonna merge this to the post survey and we're going to continue. And so there's different options here. One-to-one um, -one merge based on file order, we're not gonna work with. I actually don't think I've ever used this. Um, what we want to focus on is the one-to-one -one merge based on key values. So our key values that we're talking about are actually the variables that are the same, like unique ID um, between our pre and our post. So we're gonna merge based on that value. You can also do a one-to-many merge, and I'll demonstrate this with uh, zip code data later in the semester, but basically the idea here is that we're matching um, one row to one row, whereas let's say that we wanted to merge a data set that has a list of zip codes that match counties, um, we could match uh, a row any time that it had a certain zip code and create that county over and over again, however many times it came up in the data. That might not make sense the way that I'm explaining it, but we will do this later in class. So here, let's look at our key variables. We want to match on unique ID, section, biological sex, enrollment status, student level, um, Pell eligibility, 
FGS and race ethnicity. So we do want to match on those variables. So you can't, you can kind of, oh, I'm gonna drag this up, there we go. So um, I'm in a Porto and you know how much I love a Porto. So uh, a Porto um, was hiding this from me, but we can just click on okay. So we're gonna go ahead and run this. So I want to show you what the syntax looks like here. Um, you can see that we are sorting cases. So the first thing that, it, that happens in a merge data set, um, is that you sort cases so that they're in the same order, um, just in case they weren't before. And then it tells you that you're gonna match files. Um, it tells you what file you're gonna add, which is this second data set that we had open here. And then it tells you which variables we're going to match by, which would be unique ID, section, biological sex, et cetera. Um, so now I have this fall, um, this post survey here. And if I go to this, I shouldn't see any new variables because we didn't actually do anything with this. We didn't add to this data set. Perfect. So we just have our post variables here. I'm going to close this because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then I'm going to look here. I'm going to look what happened to my pre-survey. So when I look at my pre-survey, everything looks normal but I wanna go all the way down and see what's going on. And there are my post variables. So now I have information from my post um, survey and I can compare our same participants across different time points. And we'll be using this to evaluate the data and talk about the participants um, and what we've learned from the time period from the beginning of the semester to the end of the semester. So this now includes all of our variables. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save as, so remember to always save new versions of things. I'm gonna call this the fall 2022 PLC free dash post survey. And I'm gonna save this. So that is the end of this mini video. Um, I am putting this merged data set in Canvas and then there are further videos on analysis.